How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I want to talk to you on two different ways to wire a receptacle. Now one way has a lot of pushback from professionals. The problem is it is extremely common. So if you have a home that was built let's say in the last 10 or 15 years, if you look at your receptacles, you cut the power, you unscrew your faceplate, and you take out your receptacle, most likely this is the way that your receptacles are wired, and you might want to take a look. Now this is called speed wiring, but has many other names. It goes by backstabbing, backstab, stabbing, push in, push pins. I think quick wire is a trademark by Leviton, but it's all the same thing. So I'll show you what is that feature, We'll talk about why is that feature, and then we'll compare that to a feature called backwiring and why it might look very similar, but it is different, and why I recommend backwiring for DIYers that are taking on electrical projects around their house, doing it safely, doing it to code, but I think it is a better option. So let's jump into it. So what is speed wiring if you're not familiar with it? One, it's not unique to any given brand. Pretty much every brand is gonna offer this and you'll find it on the lowest end receptacle and switches for residential use. I have two examples here. This one's a Leviton, non-tamper resistant, low end, 50 cent receptacle, very, very low end. This one is an Eaton, tamper resistant, $1 receptacle, also on the lowest end, just a little bit more money because it has the tamper resistant feature built in. But this one actually is wired in what I used for the thumbnail of this video. It has two 14 gauge solid core wires installed, one for the hot side and one for the neutral. And then the Eden is gonna have a comparable feature. One thing to note, the strip gauges that you'll find on your receptacles, those strip gauges are specifically made for the amount of insulation that needs to be removed from the wire to use the speed wire feature. So from the highest level, that's what the feature is. Now let's actually open up and see how are we making contact with these terminals with this speed wire feature. So here's our Leviton residential grade where I will just pop this top off. Just use my Dremel tool to kind of separate the bottom and upper housing. And now you can see the actual straight 14 gauge solid core, both on the hot side and on the neutral side, you can see the internals and how those make connection. So you have these retaining clips that will be when you insert the wire that is pushed out of the way. And then it also has an edge on it where then that can hold the wire internally and push it up against the actual contacts, which will make your connection. So you can start to see where maybe some of these issues lie. If the wire was bent coming in or it's being rotated or worked from the outside, that can start to reduce the amount of contact you have. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna remove these contacts from the bottom housing so we can see how much surface area we actually have with the wire to these contacts. Okay, so now I have the contact actually removed and you can see I cut the wire but it's still in the same position. So the, the bottom housing, the black part of the housing would have been here. You push the wire through and then this retaining clip is what's holding that wire into place. But your contact is actually being made between the copper and this portion here. So for future reference, what I'm going to do to measure that contact area, I'm actually going to use a Sharpie and just color in. Now between my two Sharpie marks, I can measure that to see how much surface area, and I'll compare the speed wiring contact area to the back wiring contact area, which is my preference and we'll be talking about as a better alternative. If many pros do not like this feature, they think it's a common source of failures, why is it out in the industry? So if speed wiring is a common source of failures for receptacles, why is it out in the industry? And this is just my opinion, obviously, and I'm always interested to get your guys' feedback as well, but my opinion is it's built into the name, and that is speed. So I think the contractors and home builders want to bring down their overall material costs and also labor costs. I mean, they are a business, so it makes sense. So if you can install a com 
common component in these houses and it takes you less time and they meet NEC and the components themselves meet UL and CSA, I can see the attraction to installing these. If you're a DIYer, you're doing your own electrical projects, you feel comfortable with working on electrical, I think there is a better way. And I think you should upgrade from the cheapest residential receptacles up to a commercial grade and use a wiring method that isn't much harder, doesn't take much more time, and that's called back wiring. So let's take a look and see the differences between speed wiring and back wiring. So here is our Eaton spec grade receptacle, and you can see the plates in here, which are what are gonna actually clamp down on that wire. Now I'm just gonna install two quick wires. One note, and this is for all receptacles, is any unused terminals, you should tighten down. So do not let those just hang out there loose. You should always be tightening down in the unused terminals. That's another thing that I think is an issue with the speed wiring is because you're not really touching the terminals, they're just gonna be hanging out there, right? So you're not, you're just speed wiring, you're just popping them in the holes here. So you can see how much wider this is with the terminals hanging out there. That is not desirable because if you have a metal box, you could contact your hot side on the side of the metal box. Okay, so now speed wiring, you have your wire strip gauge guide here. You just strip it to that length of copper. Then you'd make sure your plate is pushed in, insert the wire down, and tighten it up. So a little bit slightly longer than the speed wire, but not by much. Let's insert it in and then tighten it down. From a surface area perspective, you're getting two sides of contact for the full length of that copper strand. So let's compare that. I'll take these out and let's compare that length compared to how much contact area speed wiring had. So what I did for comparison's sake is on the bottom of this little piece of copper strand, that is the portion that was in contact on speed wiring. That's about six millimeters or a quarter of an inch. And then this is the wire that I just took off of the back wire on the Eaton commercial grade. And this is about 12 millimeters or about half an inch. So you have 2X comparing the speed wire to the back wire, but don't forget speed wire really only had one side. So it was connecting with one side for this quarter of an inch. When you do the back wire, you are actually being clamped between. So you have two sides of contact for this length. So I would probably argue it's about four times the contact surface, which I would say is significant. So now hopefully it's very clear the difference between speed wiring and back wiring. Back wiring has give or take four times the surface area. And I think it's just a better approach for DIYers that are doing electrical projects. Now, I'm sure in the comments, side wiring is gonna be brought up. So going to the side of the screw terminal, I'll do an example here. You got a J hook here going to the side of the screw terminal, going in the clockwise direction, and then tightening that screw up. Been around forever and it works fantastic. The challenge I see in some DIYers is they might go in the counterclockwise direction, maybe their J-hook isn't tight enough, they tighten it down and they don't have a great hold, the wire is coming out from behind the screw head. There's just more opportunity for error with side wiring compared to back wiring. So that is why I favor that for DIYers. But let me know your opinion. Also, I wanna know, is there any licensed electricians, master electricians out there that actually use speed wiring in their own homes. I'm very interested in that. Do you trust it enough that you use it in your own home? No problem, you use 50 cent res residential receptacles. I think that says a lot. For those that are in the industry every day, what do they use in their own home?
You can look down in the comments. We always get a ton of great comments, a lot of engagement. And then if there is common threads coming through, common comments, I'll put those as a pinned comment at the top of the section so you can get those really quickly. And then if you haven't already and you got value out of the video, if you hit that like button, it really helps the channel and helps the video get out in front of more DIYers. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, as we have multiple videos coming out per week to help you with repairs and improvements around the house. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.